Hello again, everyone. My name is Stephanie Elwood. I'm a licensed horticulturalist, extension associate with the Southern University Ag Center, and I'm our growing healthy coordinator with our SNAP education program. Today, I'm gonna to be talking with you all about mulching your garden. So let's begin by talking about some of the benefits of you using mulch in your garden. Benefits of mulching your garden include um, reduces weed growth by reducing the amount of sunlight that reaches the soil. So what is a weed? A weed is a plant that is growing that you do not want there. Um, mulching your garden helps maintain soil moisture by reducing water loss from the soil surface. It insulates soil temperature, keeps the soil warmer in the winter when it's mulched or cooler in the summer when it's mulched. It protects bare soil and reduces erosion and also um, reduces the spread of soil borne diseases. Sometimes when it rains hard enough, it'll hit the soil and make the soil bounce back onto the leaves of our plant a lot of times when that happens, soil gets on leaves, it'll introduce a soil borne disease to the leaf and really interrupt the growing process and health of the plant. So mulching can help reduce all of that. Here's a small graphic on a plant with mulch versus with no mulch, uh, moisture retention and yields. So on the left hand side, you can see Plants grown with mulch produce higher yields than plants grown without. Let me give you one really good reason why. Um, you see right there on the top of surface when you put mulch down, only 10% of rainwater that seeps into the ground will evaporate. When there's no mulch, up to 80% of the rainwater that has fallen will evaporate right back up into the ground. So it leaves your plant drier more often. If there's a lot of space in between the time that it rains or the times that it's watered, it can dry out often um, and create a lot of stress on that plant where it cannot focus on producing fruit or vegetables because it's focusing on actually surviving and not thriving. Right here is a picture of an herb garden. You can see in the back, um, there are some different herbs in bare soil. And in the front, you can see some crushed pine straw that a gardener's putting down and eventually that crushed pine straw will be all over this herb garden. Um, the crushed pine straw uh, does really well um, when you're handling it. It makes the garden look, look really nice and neat after you put it there. And it will do all of the benefits that we just discussed that are benefits of mulching your garden as well as make it look really nice. So how to mulch your garden. You need to choose the right mulch for your target plant. For example, some mulches are too acidic for vegetables or fruit production. You need to make sure the soil is prepared where much mulch will be laid out. You wanna pull all the weeds out of the way before you put mulch down. If you're putting mulch down on the top of weeds, the weeds are gonna be happy that you mulch them and get even bigger. Um, when mulching trees and shrubs, you need to make sure the mulch is not touching the stem or trunk. We're gonna talk about that in a few seconds. Um, after you mulch, you need to water well to allow the mulch to set in place. You don't want it to blow away with the wind when it's dry and fluffy. And it will also allow it to hold moisture in after you water it. So here are a few uh, slides that show examples of different types of mulch. Right here is a very common one, pine straw mulch. It is literally pine straw off of the pine tree. Um, you can purchase it. You see the young man on the right hand side of your screen. It comes in bales. Um, like the one in the photo, it comes in bales that kind of look like hay, and it also comes crushed in bags. Um, this is something that is very economical. A bale like that is usually around $7.99 and it covers a lot of square footage. So it's a, it's a good idea for your vegetable, ornamental, or fruit um, garden because it'll go a long way. So pine bark mulch is also really common. This is more for ornamentals. It's a little bit too acidic to use in your vegetable garden. Uh, right here, you see it's the actual bark of a pine tree. It's just ground up. You can put it around your plants and it'll keep it looking nice and neat um, and provide all the benefits that mulch provide for your garden or your landscape. 
This one is shredded hardwood mulch. This one costs a little bit more. Um, it comes from different hardwood trees like cypress, cedar. Um, these things are good at repelling bugs. Um, they don't rot nearly as fast as pine bark mulch and they last a very long time, but it is more expensive um, to utilize and would definitely not be utilized in your vegetable garden because of the acidity. So this would be a good one for around trees or in your landscape. So outside of organic um, mulches, such as the one we've touched on, pine straw, pine bark, different kinds of tree bark, um, there's actually landscape fabric that you can put down by itself or you can put down underneath an organic mulch to the left hand side of your screen. You see that black fabric laid out and then the trees growing out of it. Um, this allows for really good um, reduction of weeds. Uh, it is still a permeable um, fabric, which means the rain can get through it, which is beneficial for when it rains, the tree can get all of the water that it needs. And then you can go ahead and put pine bark on top of it, make it look nice and neat. Um, but this, doing this method right here, landscape fabric and then mulch on top will really make sure for long term that you won't have weeds coming in your garden. On the right hand side of your screen, um, there are different synthetic mulches. There's rubber mulch, there's rocks you can use. Um, this one's kind of a mixture on the right hand side of your uh, screen. It looks really nice. It contrasts with the grass around it. And you have lots and lots of options when it comes to synthetic mulch. So let's talk quickly about how to mulch a tree properly. The uh, graphic right here on the left hand side, you see they call it a mulch volcano and this is bad. You see how it's piled up on the stem of the tree. Um, those six, seven inches that are under mulch are actually gonna rot and your tree is gonna suffer severely and die if you do mulch in this way. Proper mulching is on the right hand side of your screen it's more of like a donut shape. You actually pull the mulch away from the trunk of the tree so that it can be happy. Um, it won't have any rotting going on, but you still have all the benefits of mulch around your tree, um, holding in water, making sure weeds are down. It's really good to mulch a tree because whenever um, you have different crews coming to use a weed eater, they won't accidentally hit the stem of your tree, which can be very detrimental for tree health as well. They'll stay outside of that mulch ring and make sure everything's cut and trim around that and not have to worry um, anything close to the stem. So left side of your screen, bad, don't do that. Right side of your screen, please pull the mulch away from the stem of your tree or shrub so that it can be happy and grow to its fullest potential. So did you know that the process of pine bark or pine straw mulch breaking down is actually what adds to soil acidity? So um, it's not necessarily that product sitting on top, but it's the process of it breaking down that adds to soil acidity. Um, some plants like blueberries require acidic mulch, so they really enjoy having more acidic soil. So having those types of mulch up top and that breakdown process is going to make the blueberries very, very happy. So um, like we talked about rock, rubber, fabric, cardboard, newspaper with no color on it can be used as mulch in a garden. Um, as mulch breaks down, it creates more soil for the plants and adds to the beneficial microbial activity in the soil. So now after learning more about mulch, is there a tree near you that needs mulching? Since you know how to do it correctly, let's go out and make a tree happier. Thank you for joining us on today. Again, my name is Stephanie Elwood. I'm our Growing Healthy Coordinator with our SNAP-Ed program. Um, happy spring to all of you and happy planting.